these um, fragments of RNA, DNA produce light of certain qualities. This is connected, it's called optogenetics, the entire field of research. And it is the, the teaching about how the genetics produce biophotons and produce the light body of a being. This is kind of the, the blueprint that is uh, controlling the, the building up of forms, the morphogenetic field that, that is giving us the structure we, we, we are. So this is all done by, by this DNA. And uh, if you synthesize DNA, this is done by printing today. You write down the, the code you want to produce, and then this, this is going into a DNA or RNA printing machine. So you can define every single base pair. There's a new field of research. They realized that the base pairs can be mounted into a chain in a way that functions like a computer, like a logical element. And this is some, if you visualize this, it's like, like the old method with telephones uh, when you were dialing with sound. Um, every bass pair has a, own, ha has a resonance frequency. It's somewhere in the terahertz range. And if you hit the right frequency, it is opening like a conducting, conducting, uh, light conducting unit. Um, and if you have a chain of these base pairs that react on different frequencies, you need a, um, a sequence of sounds to open all the fragments to make the entire thing conductive. So it goes like do 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 do, and then the next part of the genetic thing is activated to either produce light or to produce poison. And this is something beautiful. Uh, out of their view of the world, because if you bring this RNA or DNA into the human body, you can kind of take a radio signal and activate it from outside to produce any substance you want or to produce any light you want. Light is emotion, light is thought, light is everything. Everything we sense as experience of ourselves. And a substance can do everything with us can poison us slowly, it, is kill, it, it can kill us immediately. Um, and this is controllable by radio frequencies without risking that it is triggered without anyone to want it being triggered. And the guy said, actually, we, kn we know that this is dangerous to bring this out, so we, that was in the papers, so we introduced uh, deactivate de deactivation code, like a... a a line of, of sounds that is completely taking the system out and uh, so that it cannot be abused by other entities. This is what he said. And he said this is airborne since 2003 in Europe. And he said that the second war, the last war in Iraq, was only done to test the system. It was the only real reason for the war. 